For the council, this presentation was part of what we gave you at the council goal setting, um, somewhat shortened, but for the, for the general public, we felt it was important for them to understand the background of how this plan comes together every year. So the original plan was first developed in 2012, and it was based on management team meetings. It was based on utilizing the two, uh, 2000 vision process um, plan that was done with the community. And then we also took a look at the what used to be the existing council goal sheets, which were really project lists. Uh, the difference between what the council used to look at and what we look at today with the strategic plan is that the strategic plan is really a policymaker document. It provides a 30,000 foot view of where we need to be going and it provides the guiding direction for staff to implement those policies. We always show this one, this is one of our favorite slides, um, the iceberg of city work. Basically, 10% of the work of the city is done at the policy level uh, with the city council. It's probably some of the most important work because it sets the direction for where we go. Then there's a section of the work that's done and how we implement technology initiatives, we improve efficiencies, and that's done kind of at the management. It's that step between the policy, but the bulk of the work of the city is done by the front people on the front line, the police officers, the folks over in development services, fire department, that do the day-to-day -day operations of how we, how we perform the services. The strategic plan has four um, themes, overarching themes, that we use to describe where we want the city to be and what, when people think of Medford, as far as our organization, what we, they think of. They think of a safe community. They think of a healthy economic development, responsive leadership, and quality public services. Under each of those themes, there are goals. There are a total of 16 in the plan. And under every goal, there are objectives and action items that will be taken to meet those um, objectives and goals. So for the 2015-2020, our strategic plan is a five-year outlook plan. We update it every year. And we always start the process in October. We start it with a citizen survey that we put on the city's website. We uh, email it to all of our city staff, our boards and commission members. Um, we do a press release. And this year, we had 133 people respond. And they provided 159 specific comments on things that they felt we should incorporate into the plan. We also received comments from the Parks, Parking and the Arts Commission. They had um, specific recommendations, and some of those were implemented. And then the management team took a look at all that information, integrated the citizen feedback, and from that we came out with one new goal was proposed, seven new objectives, 29 new actions, and six strategic plan issues were identified, and those were specific things that we felt council needed to make much more of a policy direction on how to put those into the plan. As Mr. Swanson said, one of the things we did different this year um, is we went ahead and pulled out the previous year accomplishments from the future looking strategic plan. And uh, you received those, I emailed those, and those will also be made available on the council, on the city's website. So that for 2013 and 2014, the accomplishments that we did in those years towards those goals are in a document and a report that will be available for the public to look at. Um, January 27th and February 3rd, we met with the council. We went over the draft document um, line by line and then brought it for you today for you to consider adoption or make any final revisions. Once the strategic plan is adopted, we will be posting it on the city's website. The strategic plan themes, objectives, goals will all be referenced in your agenda item commentaries. It provides the direction as we go forward with budget presentations and development. Um, July we will be on the chamber uh, the forum meeting. We will be doing our state of the city and this strategic plan is one of the key elements that we always talk about. And then again we'll use that as we continue with citizen outreach and the document will be continue to be updated annually. So in a nutshell, any questions? We had to do that for two nights. <laughs> Thank you, Glenda. <laughs> yes, yeah. it was a fun process. It was a much smoother process, and, and I have a feeling as we go forward year by year, 
our refinement of this document continues to go much smoother because we're much more all getting online on thinking about how it should be. I was giving you a bad time. That you was actually. Uh, I know. I, it'll it'll come back to haunt me. I'm sure. Um, <laughs> it was a good process, and I really appreciate staff's work. You guys really pulled it together, Mr. Swanson. Thank you, Glenda, for just pulling everything together and working us through. I thought they were very productive evenings, and uh, it was well worth the uh, investment of time. So, any questions for uh, Ms. Wilson while we've got her? I plan once this is adopted, I, I would expect within the next probably two to three weeks, we will have new hard copies available for you to take and use as you're talking to constituents. We'll have them available at the counters as well. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Mr. Swanson, any comment? No, I, I think, again, it, it, was, uh, it will really help us in the, as we come to our budget process here, our biennial budget, budgeting process. So I think it will be really important to help us in that in that process so thanks well then at that point uh, at this point I would entertain a motion to, uh, to approve the uh, city of Medford strategic plan mr. button your honor I move to approve the resolution adopting the strategic plan for 2015 through 2020 second and second from mr. Matthews any council discussion Yes, please. Just briefly, I did get a chance to look over all the previous previous accomplishments, and they are extensive. Um, and I just want to take a moment to thank staff for all their hard work. I know there was a lot of hours involved in this, especially you, Ms. Wilson. You did a fabulous job, so I look forward to getting my hard copies and getting them out there. Thanks. Further discussion? Seeing none, Glenda, if you call the roll on 60.4, please. Daniel Bunn? Yes. Eli Matthews? Yes. Kevin Stein? Yes. Dick Gordon? Yes. Tim Jackal? Yes. Michael Zaranzinski? Yes. Clay Berenson? Yes. There are seven yes votes, Your Honor. Very good. That passes. And again, I want to thank staff for all their hard work in this and get us there.